how everyone welcome with uh, today with the new video so in this video I tend to show you how we can prepare cyclic analysis for steel beam using abacus uh, first of all I will uh, create part so part manager create and I will give it name as beam here I will show 2000 millimeter and solid deformable and continue so I go with the length of just 1000 millimeter the width will be 200 millimeters so that's it for the thickness I will choose just 100 millimeter and okay so this is our beam I will try to give it uh, mechanical properties so I will go to property and I will go to my library and uh, I will choose steel double click and ok so this is the steel property so the density is there we have elastic property with young modulus and Poisson ratio we have uh, elastic pro plastic uh, excuse me plastic property so we have real stress and we have plastic strain okay all this is very clear uh, for the damage I don't need ductile damage in this case and damage evolution so we have to delete these uh, parameters okay I will give it a section and I will name it as steel okay here I will select the section here and okay so it's returned green so it's okay for the assembly we have uh, so we have uh, we have only one part so we haven't any problem with the assembly for the step first of all i will make a reference point in this model to give the load so i will make point reference here uh, so after that i will uh, create point in the middle here that's it and i will make it as reference points here okay uh, I will also uh, create set uh, so I will name it as reference points and I will choose here reference points this for the results uh, part I will create a new step and I will work with the static general static analysis continue here I will so we have to click here in the large displacement and effect for the increment I will uh, so I will change the size of increment to 0.1 and make the time period as one second that's all it's clear and easy to make uh, for the result here I will tend to uh, so get the curve of uh, force and displacement so I will create here new output and I will show the reference point set and first of all I will choose uh, RF2 so this for the X Y okay also I will uh, choose again 
the LF point and this time I will show the displacements E2 that's mean the displacement displacement in the X Y okay and okay after that I will go to uh, interaction we have nothing to done here in the interaction just the coupling points between the reference point and this surface so we have to create coupling between the reference point here and uh, the surface here that's for apply the load okay that's it for the load I tend to uh, in this step I tend to fix this surface and this all for ages and I will apply uh, here the load in this reference point so it's easy also I will show here create and I will show symmetry on castrate and I will show this surface and here I will show this option so E2, E1, E3 and the rotate rotation axis all that equal to zero so okay for the displacement, I will show this reference point. I will give her a small reference, a small displacement. So I will show 5 millimeters. And I will fix all the other axes E2, E3, E1, E3, ER1, ER2, ER3 for the rotation axis. And how I can so the question is how I can apply a cyclic load to this model so to do in that we have to uh, first of all to, to define amplitude how I can define the amplitude so we should cl click here create amplitude we can also do it here in this side and the right button and create amplitude so I will show uh, here I will name it as cyclic and I will show tabular and okay so here I have uh, my own uh, amplitude in this case we have a time fer frequency and we have here amplitude so the time is one second I divide it to a five period here if I have zero time fr frequency, if I have zero second, I have zero displacement here. Okay, when I have uh, zero point twenty five time, twenty zero point twenty five second, I have two point five millimeter for displacement. If I have zero point five uh, second, I have so negative sign and 2.5 negative 2.5 millimeter for 0. Point, uh, so 75 uh, second i have 5 millimeter for the displacement in 0. 0.9 second i have uh, negative 5 so neg negative 5 for displacement and for the last uh, time for the second i have no uh, displacement so that's that's it uh, my cyclic uh, amplitude it's easy to do and in this case it's uh, very easy it's super easy okay so i will show cyclic my amplitude and okay here uh, I just I have to create a mesh so I will show the size uh, between I will show uh, maybe 20 or 25 uh, size of this B and okay see this our 
bin. So that's it. Here I will create, I will go to job and I will create a job and I will name it cyclic one for example and continue and okay and I will run it and, and uh, will run it to do with that I will click to submit and wait for a while so uh, our job uh, cyclic job is done so we have it completed I will go to results and uh, we can see uh, that we have after run this uh, animation we have cyclic loading it's very obvious and we have cyclic loading here so as we can see we have cyclic loading okay how I can uh, uh, obtain how I can so draw this uh, the the curve of this analysis so I will go to ODB history outputs okay so I will click to continue and I will show here those two reaction force and displacement in the X Y so E2 so plots we can uh, so we can uh, we have here force and displacement and cyclic loading it's very obvious I will I tend to draw the force displacement curve with cyclic loading so I will go to operate on y, xy data and continue here I will show combine and I will begin with e2 I will begin with the displacement double click and double click in the reaction force and plots here we have uh, the, uh, we have uh, so uh, the cyclic loading curve relationship with the force displacement cyclic loading curve uh, I will uh, so I go to Excel and I will show you the curve in the Excel So this is our curve in Excel. We have here force and we have here displacement of force. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.